Welcome to this episode of Matt's Red Show. Okay, folks. We're trekking into the forest. There's something in those trees out there. I'm surrounded. There's something in those trees over there. Look all around me. There's nothing but forest. And there's something in the trees. There's lots of spooky trees around me. They're everywhere, and there's a lighthouse out here somewhere. I must find it. I don't know where it is. I think it's this way. Follow me, light bulb. Follow me, Christmas tree. Come on, do it. Find it. I don't know where it is. The lighthouse. Mr. Lighthouse, where are you? I found a, a place for people to come and sit down. Uh, sit down. This is where people sit down. Oh, I think it's this way. Oh, my goodness. Almost there. Oh, we're coming into the light. That must mean that the house is nearby. The lighthouse. Oh, there it is. The lighthouse. We found it. Let's go take a look at it now. Ghosts. Haunted stories. One of the tallest lighthouses in America. Welcome everyone to another episode of Matt's Rad Show. A tremendous good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good day to you. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I really appreciate all you guys joining me. I'll try to make this as fun for you and as joyful, you know, <laughs> as I can. But today, we have a special show for you today. I'm excited because I love lighthouses. I'm a total geek for lighthouses. I think they're just really cool. And uh, there's also something very poetic about them. Very, very, what's the word? What's the word? What's What's the word? Nifty? Uh, no, that's not the word. What's the word? Better word than nifty. Very poetic, very uh, metaphoric. Anyways, I think lighthouses are cool. There's some cool ghost stories behind this lighthouse I'm showing you today. We're up in Daytona Beach, just south of Daytona Beach, Ponce de Leon Lighthouse. And there's only one other one that's taller, but you can't access it. So this is like one of the tallest lighthouses in America that you can access. It's pretty nifty. Let's go take a look around, folks. Thanks for joining me. Light house. Light house, light house, lighthouse. I would like to welcome all the race fans to this episode. The room. All right, I've been through the entrance doors. I got my green wristband of lighthouseness. Everywhere I go, folks, there seems to be. I need to have a wristband. What is with that? Apparently, Matt's Rad Show only goes to places that requires wristbands. What do you think about that? Tell me where to go where I don't need a wristband so I don't have to get one of these. Because I'm tired of putting putting things on my on my TV show, like, green wristband of lighthouseness. I mean, it's kind of entertaining, but I'm ready to, to ditch the wristbands, although they are kind of cool. And a good little piece for your scrapbooking, if you ever scrapbook. Let's go learn. Or not. Hi kitty. Hi kitty. Hi kitty. This lazy cat is officially on staff here. You know how I can tell. Take these benches out. That's pretty cool. Pick it up, carry it around. Why are water bottles forbidden? The age old question. This cute little building here is now a little movie theater where you can learn all kinds of informative things about the lighthouse. It used to be the woodshed. That's pretty neat. I'm in a movie theater in the lighthouse area. I'm in a movie theater in the lighthouse. It's air conditioned, it feels good. We've got nice wooden pews for you here. And a beautiful movie. The movie theater. It smells like grandma and grandpa's house in here. It smells good. Ever seen a privy exhibit? It's a wooden toilet right down that hole. I tell you, many a lighthouse keeper did some business. The lighthouse toilet. Cha chain, 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 chain. This is a searchlight off of a destroyer from World War II. That's cool because my grandpa was on a destroyer in World War II, the USS Plunkett, and they scrapped the destroyer that my, grandpa's, that my grandpa was on. So that could be from the ship my grandpa was on. That's cool. Let's 
chair rocks. This guy here, Jesse Lindsay, was a skilled worker and good concrete worker. He built the sidewalk from the base of the lighthouse down to the beach. He lived to be 85 years old. He was a big dude. Kind of crazy. Lighthouse Cat's Pet Cemetery. I had a rabbit named Rambo. Ambassador. <laughs> What's this sign say? What's this sign say? Interesting. Shutter holder. Coop. Outhouse. Lighthouse. Outhouse. Lighthouse. Outhouse. Lighthouse. Outhouse. Lighthouse. Outhouse. Lighthouse. Outhouse. 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 Hello, birdie. He's speaking to us. Check it out. Legend has it that this light keeper smacked himself in the window so many times that his image is now permanently ingrained in the glass. Or maybe I just made that up. Native Americans in Florida often had to deal with harsh things such as gigantic alligators. Here was the first lighthouse. Here's a quick story of the first lighthouse. Also how it looked from a distance. And then it looked like this. And then it looked like this. And then it looked like this. Is this chair rocking on its own? Or did I give it a little push before I hit record? You decide. It's time, folks. Let's climb this thing. Let's do this. in the lighthouse building. You'll notice just out the window there. Oh, there we are. No, no, it's just outside the window there is the kerosene building. That's where they kept all the oil and stuff for the lighthouse. Legend has it that in this lighthouse, a gentleman named Joseph Davis passed away, had a heart attack while carrying kerosene up the stairs. Halfway up the stairs, folks. Down and up. And at certain times, people have been noted as smelling kerosene when there was no kerosene around and hearing footsteps when there was no other people around. I don't know if it's true or not. That's the legend. We've got a ways to go, folks. Let's keep heading up these stairs.
halfway up. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's not a legend, folks. We found it. Death of a Keeper. So there you have it, folks. Confirmation that this lighthouse could very well be haunted by the ghost of Joseph B. Davis. How far we've come, folks. Almost there. Beautiful view at the top awaits us when we get to the top. We're almost there, folks. Almost there. Welcome to the top of Ponce de Leon Lighthouse. Enjoy the views, my friend. Enjoy the views. Bad day to be at the top of a lighthouse, friends. Not a bad day at all. Something about making that climb, coming up to the top of this lighthouse, being on top of this big beacon of light, just shooting out into the darkness. You know what I mean, yeah? I don't know. Get a little too serious on you guys, but man, lighthouses are just cool, man. <laughs> Getting all weird on you guys. I don't know though, man. It's just like lighthouses are just these big beacons of hope for. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If you've never been to the top of a lighthouse, I strongly recommend it. It's a bit of a, a bit of a jog, a bit of a jog, a bit of a hike going up them stairs. But I tell you what, man. It's pretty cool. It's worth it. So you should check out Ponce de Leon Lighthouse and do this if you're anywhere near it. Come up here. You can hear yourself think. Lighthouses, man, beacons of light, huge towers, pillars, America's castles. It's kind of cool because lighthouses have always been, to me, like a symbol of hope, you know, like a symbol of, of light in our life when times get dark, when bad stuff happens to us, you know, man, we all go through bad junk in our lives. I've certainly been through a lot of junk in my life, and uh, there's been people in my life who have, who have shown light to me, who have been like a lighthouse to me, so I want to dedicate I want to dedicate this uh, episode to you guys in my life who have been a light to me. Uh, my mom, my brother, different people growing up in my life, different teachers, different preachers, different, just all sorts of different people, people from all different walks of life in my life who have been lights to me, especially my wife right now and friends. Other people out there making YouTube videos, man, you guys too, man. It's just awesome. 
cool, man. Lighthouses. Shooting light into the darkness so they can bring the ships home in storms. It's pretty cool. Be a light in someone's life, man. Don't be darkness in someone's life. Be a light in someone's life. And if you can't be a light in someone's life, then just cruise on, man. Just cruise on. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But pick someone you can be a light to to make this world a better place, man. Because these are, these are dark days, man. So be a light to somebody. Be a lighthouse to somebody, man. And people will respect you for it. Who's been a light in your life? Put a comment below. Who's been a light in your life? You don't have to put names if you don't want to, but people in your life who've been a light, who've got you through those tough storms and brought you into Safe Harbor, man. It's cool. There's wasps up here. Did you see that? I almost got bit by a wasp. Okay, that's enough serious stuff on for one day. What are these wasps doing up here? I want to say thanks everyone for watching this episode of Matt's Red Show. Thanks for coming out. Take a look at some of my other shows, folks. Ponce de Leon Lighthouse, there she blows, folks. There she is, still standing strong after all these years. So be a light. Be a light in someone else's life, folks. Be a light. Be yourself. Use your gifts. Be goofy. Be fun. Be crazy. Be creative. Do something. Make the world a better place, my friends. Do something good. Be a lighthouse in someone else's life. Have a good day, folks. This episode of Matt's Red Show is now over. And I want to say thank you for joining me on this episode of Matt's Red Show. See you next time, folks. Peace. Okay, bye. Jackpot! Oh, I hit the big box! Oh, welcome to the big box! Thanks for joining me, folks. Join me again next time on Matt's Red Show. This is the battery for my camera falling apart. Enjoy! Enjoy what? That doesn't even make sense.